whether she's checking her mail or visiting with a friend. We had like drinks and frozen food. Barbara Marsh is on a quest for coupons, but these coupons aren't for her. They're for men and women serving in the military and their families. I've never known anybody to get wealthy serving in the military. Barbara's dad was in the service, her late husband, a Vietnam vet. When Barbara learned recently that military families needed grocery coupons, she went to work. Although Barbara is an after-school tutor active in her church and working on a master's, she spends a lot of time collecting, organizing, and packing coupons. Some are sent overseas to bases in England, Germany, and Japan, while thousands make their way to the Columbus Air Force Base Commissary. That's the kind of pay that I get for doing this, is the nice thank you from the staff. and. Um, when I go to the commissary, some of the people will even come up to me now and ask me what coupons I've got in their line. Her mission has attracted others who want to help out. You know, just for me to throw away the coupons that I'm not going to use is just, it's not a good thing. I mean, I, if I can give them to somebody else, that's what I need to do. And these soldiers are risking their lives for us. Barbara is always looking for more coupons. Of course, you can mail them to her. Or in Pontotoc, there are two drop boxes. There's one at the library and another right here at the Needle Art Fabrics and More shop. She checks the boxes once a week. It's part of her ongoing effort to support the troops and their families. In Pontotoc, I'm Allie Martin, WCBI News.